Bromley with your news briefing. We could see a jump in COVID numbers over the next few days in the Sunshine State. 9,581 cases were confirmed yesterday, but that number is thought to be much higher as the government was waiting on some results from private pathologists. While the Gold Coast lagging vaccination rates are back in the spotlight as the city experiences a significant surge in COVID cases, almost a quarter of all people hospitalised across the state are on the GC. Really, for a tourist destination, I would have loved to have seen the Gold Coast at around 95%. So what I'm encouraging people on the Gold Coast to do is if you are unvaccinated, to please go and get vaccinated. The surge does seem to be happening. I am concerned about that. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk there. White Bay Burnett is still reeling from flood damage as the mop-up continues today. Maryborough was underwater yesterday following flooding, while the Mary River is predicted to fall below the minor flood level by the Savo. While ex-tropical cyclone Tiffany has weakened over the Cape York Peninsula after hitting far north Queensland as a cat too, it's due to build in strength again as it heads towards the NT. From 9am yesterday to 6am this morning, 175 mils of rain was recorded at Craigley near Port Douglas and officers are searching for a police dog in Ipswich. The dog squad was called to track an offender who ran from a stolen car early this morning. During the chase, the dog and his handler became separated and he hasn't been seen since. This new super summer sale is now on. Save up to 50% on mattresses and up to 40% on bed frames. Exclusions, T's and C's apply. The impact of COVID on the NRL could open the door for some young guns to make their mark. Broncos half Corey Pakes could get a chance to nab the number nine role with regular hooker Jake Turpin, one of 15 players in isolation. And Ash Barty has pulled out of the Sydney Tennis Classic to give herself more recovery time ahead of the Australian Open. Winning her home Grand Slam remains a major goal for the world number one. It's been more than 40 years since a local player nabbed the singles trophy at the tournament. <laughs> Checking Cairns weather showers today with the chance of a thunderstorm heading for a top of 31. Similar conditions forecast again tomorrow with a top of 32. Our listener app is the new home of your local news. Join to listen live or on demand now.